Beware. So the Bible is the final authority on what we do and how we live. We cannot allow anything to change how we celebrate our risen Savior. There were three pilgrimage feasts. And I say pilgrimage feasts, if you don't understand that, no matter where you lived, in the Bible days, you were required if you was a male, of whatever age or up, to travel to Jerusalem to observe the feast, to, to celebrate the feast. They didn't go for no one day. It was no Good Friday. It was no Sunday service. I mean, I don't understand. You know, we have this Bible, and this Bible does not say any of the stuff that, that people do today. I can't say I do what they do because I know how to read. You have to make up your mind. The Bible says, save yourself in this untoward generation. What are they untoward from? They are, they are torn or, 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 or set apart from the Bible. They're not doing what the Bible says. There is no reason that we have to do some of the things that we do. There is no justification for them whatsoever, regardless of what people might tell you. You can't just change stuff. And here's the biggest oxymoron and crazy thing about it, and we're going to move on because it's time to, that... Here's the crazy thing about it. No one's benefiting from what they're doing. There's no fruit from doing things. I know people who have been celebrating a pagan version of Passover, which is oxymoron, which is Easter, for years and decades. I know them personally. And they ain't gained no fruit from it whatsoever and still do it every year, every year. Just do it by, by, by just, 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 just do it just because that's what they do. But they, they, there's, no, there's no freedom. There's no deliverance. There's none of the things that God promised us in his word that we can have when we follow his word. None of them. But they do it the same way every year, constantly, like a robot. It, it makes no sense. None. God is, God, like what I read, and what you know, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, not in flesh and lies. And the Bible makes it clear that we can come reason. We can come and reason. There's no excuse for us allowing anybody ever to change what our Bible says concerning the things that we must do to inherit the things that God said we can have, the promises of Almighty God. Study to show yourself approved. Look it up for yourself. Know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Ask questions. Somebody should better give you an answer for the hope that's in them concerning why they're doing what they're doing. Ask your pastor, why, why do we, where's Good Friday in the Bible? Ask your pastor, why, do we, why are we on Sunday? Ask your pastor, where, the word is not lining up with what we're doing. And I don't care how, 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 how successful it looks on the outside. At the end of the day, we all going to stand before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he's going to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Or he's going to say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I don't know you. Why wouldn't he know you? Because he's gonna only going to recognize you by what he commanded you to do, what he told you to do. That's how he will know you. He's not going to know your watered-down version of things you made up. Because you're going to give, you're gonna have to give an uh, answer. You're going to have to give an account for the things that you've done and that you did not do, that he commanded you to do. And he was the example. Amen? I know it's a hard preach and a hard teach, but at some point people going to have to repent. They're going to have to repent and turn, and turn from the world and turn back to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you that you have a word. You have given us instructions. You have given us things that we need to do and obey, Father God, to inherit who you said we are. We did not save ourselves. We did not choose ourselves. We did not birth ourselves. We did not create ourselves. But those of us that are born again realize and recognize that all things become new. And anything that we had done previously before coming into your kingdom and understanding our purpose and reason and season, that there are things that we had to change. And for whatever reason, the, 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 the present church is allowing the world, now even when I say the world, I'm talking about carnal, non-believing believers to dictate what your word says to us, Father God. I just pray that the scales will fall off, Father God. And I, I know people who talks about a remnant arising. And to me, and according to your word, the remnant are those that do your word and your perfect and complete will. Thank you, Father God, for your anointing because it completely and utterly destroys the yoke of non-belief, sickness, disease, poverty in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you for everything you've done and you're doing. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you and have his face continually and always smile upon you.